In our last video, we got our project converted over to using Django. So our next step is to set up our API so we can use Django REST framework to power the data for our React application. In the last episode, we did our install of uh, Django REST framework and Django extensions, and so we're actually ready to start using them. If we go to our installed apps and add REST framework to our installed apps, and that's gonna allow us to use DRF, Next thing we need to do is we need to add the models for our project. Uh, we need to add our to-do model. So we're going to import from Django extensions the timestamped model because we want our to-dos to be timestamped. We're going to add a class to-do for our models, in inherit from timestamp model, and then we're going to add a title as a character field and complete as a boolean. That way we can title our to-do and see whether it's completed or not. Next, we're going to add our serializer so that we can serialize our class or our model that we just made. So we need to import our serializers and we need to import our model and then add our to-do serializer, inherit from model serializer. And then we need to set the fields in our meta class and we'll just say model equals to-do and fields equals title created and completed. We need to add our view for our project. So we're going to open up our views we're going to import our list API view so that we can list all of our to-dos in, in our API. We'll import our model, we'll import our serializer, and then we'll add a to-do list view and pair it from list API view. We'll set our query set to be to-do.objects.all. We'll set our serializer class to to-do serializer. And that's it for our list API view. Now, whenever we hit that hit the URL we're gonna set up here in a second, this will automatically generate just a list view of our objects. Now it's time to add the URL. We'll just do a simple URL of uh, API to do's and we'll set to do list view dot as view since it's a class based view. And then finally, the last step in code is we're gonna add the model to our admin so that we can quickly add some data. So let's do our import of our to-do. We'll register the to-do model with our admin class of to-do admin, and we're good to go. So we'll just jump into our browser, log in in the admin, and we'll click on to-dos, and you can see we don't have any to-dos. So we'll add a to-do, to-do number one, we'll add to-do number two, three, and four. And then now when we go to our API to-dos, we see a list of our to-dos in our API. And we now have a working API that we can start using with React. And in the next episode, we're going to load our to-dos in React from our new Django REST framework API. Hopefully this showed you the simplicity of setting up a basic API that we're gonna use with a React application.